This video includes Fresco Expansion 1 and the Scrolls Module number 7. Some familiarity with Fresco the base game will be helpful while watching this video. Fresco Expansion 1 includes modules 4, 5, and 6 and is included in the Fresco Big Box. You may add all modules to the base game in any combination you like. Module 4 contains the Wishing Well Board, Lucky Pennies, and Wishing Cards. This module affects the planning of actions, the market, and the performing of actions. Every player receives three pennies. If you have placed an apprentice on the market action, you may put up to two Lucky Pennies on top of the market symbol on the action board. A player may take a wishing card up to the number of pennies he has thrown into the well. Wishing cards positively affect the actions of apprentices. Some give free paint when at the market. Some improve your mood at the theater, and so forth. Module 5 affects the market and the cathedral actions. Place the gold leaf tiles on the display board next to the main game. The gold and basket tile are placed in the market on the main game board. Randomly draw a colored wood disc from the refined color draw bag and place it on the basket tile in the market. A player may choose, when performing the market action, to visit a stall that will give him gold leaf, as well as paint colors. When a player restores a section of the fresco at the cathedral, which contains this round's refined color, he also discards a gold leaf tile. Depending on the bishop's position to the tile being restored, the player gains victory points, in addition to the victory points earned according to the basic game rules. Module 6 adds stained glass to the restoration of this beautiful cathedral. This module affects the planning and performing of actions as well as the cathedral action. The glazery is placed next to the game board. Place six window tiles face up on this board and the remainder in the draw pile. Place the window opening next to the altar on the main game board. Draw two glass tokens per player and place them sorted by color on the glazery board. Everyone gets one glazery action tile and places it behind their small screen. When a player wants to use the glazery action, place the glazery action tile over one of the five action choices. Because this tile has two apprenti on it, you use two of your available actions for this turn. This also means you can perform the glazery action twice and pay to acquire two glass tokens. Restoring a segment of the fresco next to one of the 13 stained glass windows means you have to restore the window as well, and at the same time. Pay from 0 to 3 thalers at the production bench on the glazery board for a window. Every window has its own color combination. Discard the glass pieces indicated and gain the victory points shown on the window tile. Place it next to the segment of the fresco you have just restored. The altar window consists of four glass panels, one of each glass color. If the active player restores the altar, they may also contribute to renewing the altar window by discarding up to four glass tokens. For each discarded glass token, the player gains one victory point. Module 7. The scrolls change the cathedral action. Every player receives two scroll tiles at the beginning of the game. When a player restores a section of the cathedral indicated on a scroll's tile, they score not only for the tile they have just restored, but any other tiles restored in that row or column indicated on the scroll's tile. 